as a chatbotter out there, how do you make your chatbot more engaging by not having the same repetitive response? In chatbot marketing, especially on ManyChat, and there's other chatbot platforms out there, they have what's called the default reply. The default reply is when somebody is not actually responding to your prompts in the chatbot, if they're asking a question, but they start asking questions natively in Messenger. The default reply in many chat will fire and trigger an event, and that'll say that, you know, whatever you want it to say. The mistake I see with most chatbot marketers, people that are making chatbots, is they have a single default reply, like, hey, I'm just a bot, let me get my human uh, over to you, da 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 Now, if they keep texting, they're gonna get the same message over and over and over again. Another strategy here too, and I'll have other channel, uh, videos on my channel, is if you're attaching the chatbot to your social media posts on uh, Facebook or Instagram, and people are engaging, commenting on your posts, you don't wanna have the same repetitive response each and every time. Uh, you wanna put some spice into it so the bot sounds humorous, and can start engaging uh, with the person in new creative ways. So I'm gonna jump over to ManyChat and I'll show you how to create these enhanced default replies. If you haven't seen my channel before, hello, I'm Smarty with the Pro Edge Marketing Team. I'm Meet Smarty the Realtor. Uh, I'm so glad you're here. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'm putting these videos out each week to help you understand technology for the good of your business, making you more efficient, growing your leads, and making this the best decade ever. So consider subscribing. Let's hop over to ManyChat and let me show you how to create a compelling default reply. So the method I use in my ProEdge chatbot uh, package, I have the ProEdge chatbot 5.0 plus AI. Uh, there's details below in the description if you wanna check it out. Um, but every uh, chatbotter out there, if you're using ManyChat, has a default reply flow. So if I come down here and just show you how I've set up mine, I have the default fallback reply. Um, this uh, approach that I use, I'll hit edit so I can move this around, is let me show you how I constructed this flow. So uh, this is um, somebody sends a direct response. So I have a tag uh, that I use to tag them that they uh, are getting direct response number one. Um, so when it comes in. So uh, then I'm using a combination of what I call conditions. So did they, I have a tag that's called saw default reply one. And then if I come down here, there's another condition, saw uh, re, uh, default reply two. And then the third one here is default reply three. And you could have as many as you want in here. Um, I've created for some uh, users, I have a, an Instagram customer using my ProEdge chatbot and he has about 50,000 followers on his Instagram account. And as he puts these homes and apartments on his Instagram page, he's getting hundreds of comments and likes on each post. So you want to create some variety so they're not seeing the same response. Hey, click this button or hey, thanks for, for prompting. You could use this condition strategy in order to put some spice in the responses that are coming back from to the user. Now, the reason that you see in each condition is I have another condition. If once they see the reply, if they haven't seen the reply, uh, I, I, I have a, or do they speak Spanish? Because my chatbot does speak, uh, is bilingual. So it's going to have a prompt in English and down here a prompt in Spanish. So uh, that's basically how it works. So in this case, uh, you know, it, it's saying, hey, uh, thanks. I'm just a chatbot. I'm learning. Not sure uh, what you're asking. It would be best if you, uh, I push my buttons and follow my prompts. Uh, you know, and basically I'm asking them to scroll up or click a schedule call or what have you. And then I take them into the appropriate subflows from there. But as you see here with each condition, I'm providing different varieties. So, hey, looks like you need to talk to my human first name from my company. Uh, you can call or text them here. And then down below, uh, hey, while I'm a chatbot, I need to learn more about human speech running out of things to say, here's my, uh, my John's contact information, reach out. So take advantage of this. Uh, you can create as many subflows as you want with all these conditions so that you randomize it. And uh, down here in this flow, uh, I've decided just with the three, if they already saw uh, default reply three, you see that green isn't going anywhere. So that means the bot's not gonna say anything after the third reply, they'll, they'll be texting uh, and I can get an automated alert, you know, to come back in and uh, I can see that they've already texted a few different things. I'm going to get notified as the admin on my ManyChat account 
So when they get to that third reply, they'll see the third reply, but the fourth time they text, I don't want the bot to keep saying something. So you could stop it by just in the condition, say don't do anything if they've already seen the third reply. So uh, that is how you create an engaging default reply to put some spice in this. You may wanna create flows for your Instagram side. So you could have one of these flows set up specifically for Instagram with all kinds of ways to comment for social posts on Instagram. You may have another one for Facebook and then the default reply overall in your chat bot, you can create these engaging conversations to make it more uh, creative and engaging for the people that are interacting with you as a realtor. I hope you enjoy this video. And again, if you haven't already, consider subscribing, smash that bell, and uh, let's keep moving this forward to make this the best decade ever through technology. Thanks for being here.